Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your special edition of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, the Last of Us 2 spoiler cast. Alex, hmm. do you like Last of Us 2? Elijah, <laughs> I, 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 I loved Last of Us. <laughs> Real quick, Alex. What is our history with Last of Us? Starting with you, what is what is your history with Last of Us? Let's start there, and then we'll get into actual spoiler discussions. Of course, this is a spoiler cast, so that means spoilers are turned on. So we will be spoiling everything of Last of Us 1 and Part 2. Um, we will be spoiling it a lot. All of it, yes, in will. fact. <laughs> so yeah. if you do not want to hear that, please leave. And if you do want to hear it, then stick around. Now, Alex... What is your history with The Last of Us? By history, what do you mean? Like when I started playing it? Yeah. Or like... yeah. Okay. When when did you start? Did you start with one? Did so, you play one? I did play one, but I didn't play it when it came out. Mm, similar I actually, I actually didn't. Like I knew about it, uh-huh. and I never really tried it. Mm-hmm. Until the remaster on PS4. Mm, I I same thing with me. I didn't play it to the actual remaster on yeah, PS4. I've always heard, I've always heard it was super good. Like it's a must play, and I was like, you know, one day I was like, I I, I got to try it. And from that dude, from that moment, I picked up the I I pressed any button on the main menu. Mm-hmm, there you go. On that window, man, it just it drew me in, and I, and it, it has a special place in my heart. Similar with me, I believe I got it in 2015. I believe it was a special bundle that mm-hmm. I got the remaster with, I believe. I don't remember paying for it. I think I got it like a code or something with the game. I gotcha. I don't remember. But uh, same thing with me, played it, and from from that first button press, enthralled. Mm-hmm. And uh, I somehow didn't get spoiled. I don't know how. I was very oh, into dude, yeah, gaming. Same. I listened to podcasts, and I didn't get spoiled on anything, so... I didn't yeah. know really what was going on. I knew the main characters. I just did not know how we got to any of our situations. Exactly. Either. Yeah. Um, but that was that was a special game. Um, moving on to the meat of why you're here, achievers. This the the game now. Alex, where do you want to start? <laughs> like wh- like is there? Hmm. I mean, do I mean, we, I, you want to start like- at the beginning? I feel like, yes, we have to start at the beginning. Okay. So, it starts with, I mean, it's, it, wow. Let's I, the, okay, let's start with the the, the, the title screen, because we, we, we always talk about the very first game and that title screen with the window, mm-hmm. and we always try to figure out where how that leads into the game. Mm. This one has the boat, the boat. like, like docked mm-hmm. into like in the middle very dark. Of, of just in water and we're like okay well how does this play how does this come into play mm-hmm. yeah it's very dark very dark very, no yeah. light i think we'll I'll, I'll touch on that later why i think that's mm-hmm. interesting yeah. um but title screen's beautiful i'm already excited i'm and i yeah, see yeah, a boat sure. i don't know why the boat took me so much off guard <laughs> I was just like, I was like, whoa! There's a boat. Like, uh, there's Dude, boats in I this said, world, but I don't know why I, said, I was so excited. I the same thing. <laughs> I started. Um, I started. In, uh, my wife actually uh, in, started installing it for me because I was just ta- I was taking a nap with the baby. Mm-hmm. I started waking up, and all I see is my uh, PS4 like downloading a game, and I was like, no. So mm-hmm. I was like, I woke up to that being downloaded. So as I turned it on, I was going through the collector's edition and I was checking out the statue and that, and that man, the title screen pops up. I'm like, there's a boat. Like I was so excited that there was a boat on the title there screen. There was a boat and it was a nice boat. Now moving on from the boat, cause we can, it's, it's a nice boat. Yes. It's a With, nice boat. If, if, if it took a lot too. <laughs> looked like it was about to break in half. Oh um, yeah, for sure. And went really slow, by the way. <laughs> when, oh, yeah. But anyways, you start the game. Um, f- uh, from Ellie's POV, you uh, mm-hmm. overslept, right? Um, yes. And then you walk out to Jesse, your friend, berating you on what we saw from a, what was that? E three twenty eighteen, or twenty nineteen? I believe they weren't at E three in twenty nineteen, yeah. so it had to be twenty eighteen, right? Yeah, it was you talking about it, like for the 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 trailer that had the party and stuff. Yeah, the party, the dance, the lights, and all the things that 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 was that had to have been twenty eighteen. We saw that. Um, Let's see. So from then on, 
we get was, a yes, 2018. Yeah, 2018. I thought so. And we from then on, they tell tell us about that night and what happened. We get some context mm-hmm. that we don't fully know, uh, which is dope. And mm-hmm. you learn about you know you got to go on patrol or whatever. Uh, la la la. Then we get to someone I didn't even know was in this game, which is my favorite part of this game. I think okay. is not knowing Abby. Oh a yeah, full part of the game. And you switch to Abby, and you don't even know who she is. Mm-hmm. Um, and Owen, again, at the time, you don't know who it is. So, like, wants to show you something. So he shows you to the um, Jackson. And then I was like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, why do they want Jackson at the time of playing? And then re- realizing, like, oh. he And they say Joel. And you're like, oh, they're coming. Mm-hmm. They want him. Yep. yep. And, Alex, did you... I suspect Abby of anything specific? Did did you think, like, oh, um, they're here for this thing or? Not really, no. Because I honestly, I th- I think I was still just like enthralled of like with the whole world, and I'm me wondering, I'm like, oh, I'm not playing, I'm not playing as Ellie. I'm playing as this new character. What's going on? That I didn't even realize that that's that there was any, um, mission there. Like I was just playing the game. Like, I was just playing as Abby. I didn't even think about her intentions. Boy. And then... Yeah. <laughs> then um, Owen goes like, oh, you know, it's going to be hard to talk the members into this. So, so they, she, she, mm-hmm. he leaves uh, after, you know, a, a drawn-out walk there. Yep. And she goes, well, fuck it. I'll do it myself. And then yep. goes and starts walking towards that little ski resort he pointed to. And... <laughs> You know, little gameplay segments here. This is the first introduction to the gameplay, Alex. So far, what did you did you did you like the little tutorial level they did? I yes, I I did. I did enjoy it. Um, um, I like to like the whole dodging mechanic. To it was like, oh, you know, they, you can dodge and then like quick strike or whatever, and like and it's it's pretty cool. And I mean, you can get like bombarded, and and like sometimes if like if you're just trying, like I was fighting one person, and then like another one came behind me, and like and it hit me, and it like knocked me back, and then they tried to gang up on me, so I had to like dodge two people at once. Yeah, you you can easily get uh, overwhelmed, so you you yeah. do have to like really pay attention to what's going on. But mm-hmm. I loved how seamless the tutorial was. No, it was yeah, just a sure. simple screen. This is what you do. Oh, like, and the right, gameplay cool. was actually pretty smooth to where like you know it was like like uh like the, the animation to where, like how you, how you how it's being used like with the dodging and the the combat and everything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like pretty it was really swift. Oh, it was. <clears throat> that was weird. My mic fell a little. <laughs> Did yours ever do that? And we're back. Yeah. Had some audio issues there. Fix that real quick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to it, though. Uh, you go through all that, blah, blah. Did you... <laughs> How hard did you cringe and, like, well up when you see Joel grab her and help her? Um, my thing is, like... I was terrified. I knew it was about I, to happen. I, 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 I was, honestly, I, I was oblivious. I was not expecting it. I just, uh, I was like, oh, I'm playing as this chick, and like, you know, Joel and Tommy help them, and of course, Joel being the good guy, he's like, oh, I was like, oh, I got, you know, I can't just leave her there, we don't know who this is. The good guy, okay. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's a, go- a better person. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I'm... Uh, I, I wasn't expecting it in my mind because I, I guess I was just oblivious to it. So let, let's cut let's cut to the chase of what we were going to talk about. So opening the game to essentially the first hour, killing off the main character of the last game, Joel. <sighs> How did that... Did you approve of this? Did, did you like that choice? Did, I, were you upset at all? I, oh, yes, I was very upset. <laughs> I bawled. <laughs> um, reason being because... To be fair, the the scene as the scene portrays, like you know, he not just get like like he got shot with a shotgun in the damn leg. Yo, I my mouth was 
wide open. When I was happened. not expecting that. All I remember is like, uh, like when he when he suspected, he's like, "Oh, it's like you know us or something." That and that like, scene was was impeccable. Like um, he's like, and they're like, "We do," or he, I forgot what they that's said. Be, and, that's because they do, and then yeah, she because they just do, and she joined his shin, joined his leg, oh. and I just I was like, "Whoa." I was not expecting the leg. And not, honestly, I was like, oh, okay, you know, he's hurt pretty bad. And then, you know, something's going to happen later on in the game. You know, he has a... Like, yeah, Alex, if that, if that is your pretty bad leg. meter, I'd hate to see very bad. <laughs> that man... <laughs> we'll there. there was like a piece of skin holding on to that man's leg. <laughs> Look, I, I, all I thought was like, you know, they're going to have to cut off that leg. And, you know, later on, <laughs> he's going to be walking to Ellie with a damn cane. <laughs> Like he's not gonna be able to go on the rides, or like they're not gonna be able to do the two man thing again. Yeah. Anymore. So I was like, oh well, he's gonna be around. Nope. All we see is her, that woman, grab a golf club and just whack him, and then the scene ends. Now, but, so from from your point of view, because I did, I for some reason, and this game is cl- so clever in the design of this. Mm-hmm. Did you did I, <laughs> did you think you'd make it to help him? What do you mean? Oh no, yeah. I really thought I would for make some it. I'm, reason. I'm not gonna lie. I really thought I would get in there in time. For some reason, looking back, I don't know why I thought this, but I was walking up to it and like, I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. I, I know Ellie yep. doesn't know, but I was like, I gotta I, just in case, just in case. and I was like, I, and looking back, I, I don't. There was nothing I could do, of course, but for some no, reason, for I got sure. so caught up into the game that I was yeah, like, I, I gotta wanted get to. in there. I have to, yeah. I, I I tried, dude. As soon as you you re- start playing as Ellie again, and you're running to that to that lodge, I was running so fast, dude. I was trying to get there so fast. Mm-hmm. I started going through the thing, running down the stairs, open the door, and then the cutscene started. I'm like, oh man, I got I got told that guy was beaten to death with a golf club while dude, while his I, like kind just of seeing daughter watching. seeing seeing that man on the floor like that, and then her watching was really hard well what what was even worse was he, like when he when you see his face yeah that's you're the just thing. like jesus christ and then he sees ellie and he like kind of moves a little like, like he, he kind of understands but like he's like no he's like ah uh, this sucks <laughs> yeah. like it's like he can't move and then owen's like end it i think is what he says i, I don't yeah, remember they were they're like uh they're like uh, you uh, know we, uh, go. we wanted this or something like that um yeah. yeah they were i forgot what they said um i think it was like we gotta go or something you gotta end it because owen was like we gotta get out of here because the people yeah. were showing up oh it's, i think he's like we gotta go and, and abby or some or i forget somebody one of them said there's like this is what you wanted and uh she just grabs the club and just oh Boop. and all you hear is ellie say no please don't that's the hard part dude is like yeah. when she was begging and then um when it's done uh, the one smart guy in the room goes, "All right, I'm gonna finish this one." It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he was like, "I'm gonna finish the girl," and the, and Owen was like, "No, don't do that." Oh yeah, uh, they messed I, up there. I was like, I was like, but a part of my head, I'm like, of course I don't want them to actually do it, but the other part was like, oh, you guys are the idiots. Thing is, like, you just they ma- beat to ugh. death a person in front of her. <laughs> like they made that scene so like immersive. Because when you like you, when they when she hits him in the head, your ear the the I had headphones in. I, I'm using oh, the so did I. So did I. So like you know the I have the, I have the thing pretty loud just to make you know, make sure I can hear everything. Yeah. They made it your like sound like your ears are ringing and you just went deaf and I'm mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. and like my mind just like blanked at that moment and I really did the same thing like I canceled all the noise out and I just like watched Ellie and Joel's reaction. I'm yeah. like, What is happening right now? yeah no that was it was hard it was, was hard to watch that was strange that that was that was very difficult especially with just watching this dude get yeah beaten my death. um my watch my wife uh, my wife watched me go uh, watch that and she had to look at me she's like are you okay because i was i was i was i was you're losing it you're losing yeah, it. i was losing it man i was i had to sit i said very emotional for a second it's very emotional uh scene I, I enjoyed it i'm and it's and it's uh, it's awesome that the game can invoke a strong emotion like that too. No, for sure. And it's crazy because I'm not, I was not expecting it that soon, dude. Not expecting it that soon. I was yeah. like, give, I was giving it me at least a quarter of the game, maybe, but not the first like let's say hour or two. Mm-hmm. What was um like was, oh. was anything spoiled for the game? Of course, um, if you don't know, just to clue you in, there was massive spoilers throughout the internet. 
uh, mm. before the game came out. Um, and uh, essentially, most of the entire game was spoiled. You know, there's a lot that you didn't mm. know, but there was a good bit. Mm. Was there anything spoiled for you? Absolutely not, which I was glad. I, um, I was glad that I was not spoiled. So I was spoiled, but didn't believe it. Mm. Um, looking back on it, I was it, so what the spoil was, and I and I, the reason I didn't believe it was because of how flip it is it was, okay, um, and how like unoriginal it was. I was like that if it does happen, it's like it, it it's such an unoriginal spoiler. Like that can just be fake. Because there were a bunch of fake mm-hmm. ones walking around too, and mm-hmm. it it was that Joel and Ellie die in the Last of Us Part Two. That's what okay. it said, and I was like, ah, eh, whatever. I never really. It didn't really bother me. I think it was on Reddit or something. Mm. Um, specifically, I think the GameStop Reddit, I think. Uh, okay. And some random person just commented on one of the things. Yeah. And I was like, wow, okay, whatever. And I yeah. never really took it apart. But then when it happened, I was like, oh, it was right. And that led me to believe, like, oh, my God, is Ellie going to die? And I was yeah. like, well, I guess she's dying in this game. And, and that kind of affected me throughout the game, like, waiting for it to happen. Yeah. Um, I mean, mentally, I mean, or emotionally, she did die. <laughs> Physically, yeah. Oh God. Interesting. So, I you brought it up. I want to hear that thought. What, what do you? What? What is that? Why do you say that? Um, dude. I mean, you think she's will, emotionally damaged beyond I think repair? So. I, 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 I. During this game, yes. Towards the end, will we get toward? You know, we get to the end. I think it's it's. I think she's always going to be damaged. But not as bad as throughout, like throughout you experience her throughout the game. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, no, I this definitely damaged her emotionally and uh, like mentally. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I don't think she could ever be the same. Interesting. Um, okay. Especially with getting to uh, someone to, I, I don't think in my, uh, she will be able to have somebody that close to her again. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's like it's just like having somebody taken away from you like that is really hard on a person's psyche. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's very complicated with her situation specifically, and you see mm-hmm. that in the farm chapter mm-hmm. specifically with her trying to live a normal life. And what mm-hmm. you, we I guessed well, it was probably around two years between yeah. end of day three to the farm. The farm, yeah. And she still can't stop thinking about everything. The mm-hmm. combination I mean, of Joel and PTSD. C- in the in the Seattle day one, two, three, like just constantly thinking about what happened. Getting mm-hmm. her essentially best friend killed as well. Um mm-hmm. in the form of Jesse. Uh, who, by the way, <laughs> I love the flippitness Naughty Dog murders off main screen talent by the way dude it was crazy day, seattle day three where abby comes and yoinks uh people up mm-hmm. and oh God, when i open the door and me and jesse just finished talking about leaving and we yep. hear a bang jesse comes out pap right in the face like now immediately immediately. immediately he didn't even react like he just walked in yeah. and just bloop and he fell to the yep. ground, and I was like, <gasps> like, like that gasp, like, oh my god, he's yeah, he just got crazy. shot in the face, in the face. Yeah, it was, it, it was, like one hell of a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that is a shout out to Abby. It's like, all right, that was, yeah, you know, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> that was an immediate response to a noise, and you just poked them out of the existence. Yeah. Now. A question I've wanted to ask you that I've held off on. In, did you want, how do I phrase this? Do you want, did you want Ellie to embark on this revenge journey? Um, Or did you yes. want her to be like, like, don't go, don't go, just just relax. No, yes, I, want, I wanted her to do you it. You wanted blood. I, I, I wanted blood because mm-hmm. I, under, I, un, I understand coming from Joel's perspective, mm-hmm. I would have done the same i would have done the same thing oh wow really honestly i mm-hmm. feel like i would have done the same thing mm-hmm. it's a difficult choice like, like it is a difficult choice and i people will probably be mad but like if it is if it, it's a a 50 50 chance of a possible cure and risking my daughter's life mm-hmm. and there is a uh, there is a you know we are taking these people like for making like 
we don't know they are for sure 100 percent yeah correct, we, too. they never said they they for sure yeah he could have failed and just it would have been for nothing and and then nothing happens and joel's yeah. joel said nope to that <laughs> yeah i would and i honestly i would have done the same thing and i've been like now i would have picked like his decision on retaliating to everybody i, I feel like i would have taken a different approach <laughs> But, you wouldn't have mercilessly killed in a hospital full of people? Oh, no, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't have done that, but I definitely would have disagreed on the thing. Yeah, for but, sure. But yeah, but like if if it comes to the point to where like they tried to kill me, I I, th- I feel like I would have to retaliate. Right. Um, since we're on the hospital scene, okay. I loved that the. It wasn't even, and I thought it was going to be a. Oh my god, like you stopped the cure. It wasn't even about the cure really at all. This this entire game really. No, for sure it was. And I thought like, it was. I thought we were for they, sure getting some sort of cure talk other than her being nothing. mad. No, they didn't do nothing. All we got was the the, the doctor who was going to perform the surgery and I, I assume manufacture the cure. They didn't really Yeah, he he was going to create he was going to cre- uh, create a back, uh, the the cure the, pretty much. Okay. And did this is complete non sequitur? Did do we know what the cure technically is? Like, is the cure for the bites or is it for the people? I think is it to cure, kill the fungus? I think the cure what is is it might be a blanket term much, for everything. Maybe I think the cure is pretty much so uh, to kill the bacteria that creates the disease for you. So like, if you do get bit, nothing really happens. It just it's got it it, it just withers away. Right. So it's for you, like, since Ellie is immune, I mean, she gets a bit, mm-hmm. nothing really happens to her. You mm-hmm. just get a big ass scar. Yeah. So, or like the, or like your actual skin itself gets rit- irritated or whatever, or looks weird, but nothing happens to you physically. Nothing mm-hmm. happens to you in your body. Yeah, I, I can imagine that too as well. So that, it would just do that the same thing. Yeah, that, yeah, that's probably what is actually happening to the body. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought it was brilliant when they when they chose the actual mm-hmm. antagonist being Abby and finding out that she was the daughter of the doctor that we shot in like the face yeah of joel and, yeah and it's crazy how that vaccine was supposed to even like happen because they were supposed to get something out of her brain that's why she would have died yeah it was the hippocampus it wasn't even any... isn't that what he said or the hippocampus yeah yeah he, they, they like have the to take the that piece of the brain now it's like whoa well, yeah she's definitely dead yeah, which is it, which is crazy because you would think you know with a vaccine it was something to do with blood or bone marrow or do something, but like no, it's the brain. Like take the brain out, we're gonna mush it up into little pieces and eat it. Like it's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, I I love the decision of Abby. Now, mm-hmm. s- uh, s- uh, switching to Abby's character, what what did you, so I'm I, I want to describe I want to tell you my feelings of Abby before we get into it. Okay. So day three, right? Mm-hmm. we find abby's like like got into the theater and yeah. again me not knowing there's a second character in the game which i love mm-hmm. finding out you know what one when i'm on the ground she's like i let you live and you killed my best friends and uh and it black screening and then going to the park uh like that flashback scene with her and her dad yeah which is super cool and it was i assume was meant to reflect even the relationship joel and ellie had with the zebra like the they yes. shared with the giraffe very similar um they both like f- helped an exotic animal basically and yeah, for sure then you f- find his corpse after joel had already went through the hospital i'm assuming she was called in or something or her maybe heard some gunshots or something but well, she, and, the, and during the flashback, the alarms were going off, and yeah. so like everybody was going, there was gunshots, and you can just hear a bunch of shit happening. So mm-hmm. I'm assuming she just rushed in there to see, figure out where her dad was. Probably, yeah, and he got shot in the face. Uh, but when I started playing, when day one happened, from mm-hmm. Abby's perspective, I literally felt gross, and that's the only Dude. way I can describe oh. it. I felt like I was betraying Ellie. I felt pretty gross. And, and I mean by that is I'm playing as the, for lack of a better term, bitch that killed Joel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on. And 
kudos to this game for me for, ter- for completely 180 it around one right? 180 ing my original thoughts I, I originally was like i don't want to play as this chick this is not going to be fun I, I don't care what reasoning she had. I, I'm not going to empathize with her. Well, I fucking lied because <laughs> I uh, 100% empathize with her position. And I love the what what would what would be the word uh, the the antithesis of everything she uh, and her father is basically the same thing Ellie's doing. And these are like two mm-hmm. two heads of the same coin or two sides of the same coin basically with joel uh, uh killing their her father mm-hmm. her then killing ellie's father like it's such a brilliant mirror that yeah. i love that i was able to pick up on like oh my god this is the oh, exact no, sure. same scenario with two different people and then to even sum it up more as a scenario Mm. Abby turns into a Joel figure for yep. for Lev, for Lev. later yep, on in Lev. the game, and this whole theming of you you essentially get Last of Us again with Abby and uh, Lev is mm. brilliant. I loved that part. Yeah. Um. But uh, what what are your what are some of your thoughts on the game? What do you want to What do you want to? I've been um. No, I, I agree. Day. The for the the like that first chapter of you playing as Abby, I was like no there's no way i had to stop it because i'm like i do not want to play as this chick like i'm i've already been bawling about joel i don't know what's about to happen is she gonna shoot ellie in the face she just killed jesse like what is about to happen i was like all right let me figure out what's going on so i started playing and the more i played i'm like oh i see what you're doing naughty dog you're making me feel for this one and it's working (laughs) no it's funny how 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 fast i fell in love with manny yeah, I love that oh, guy. Dude, that I love cool. Manny. And it's crazy because that at the part in Joel's death, I hated him so bad. So I didn't know he was the guy who spit on him. Yes. And when I re-saw the uh the scene when they replay the scene later on, yeah. I was like, Oh Jesus, Manny's the one that spit on him. Oh my god. And I was like, Oh yeah. that's that's one less point for you, Manny, all right? <laughs> yeah. Like I liked Manny toward like towards like when we were playing as Abby. But then when like one, I was like, I just, I like, I couldn't do it. Like, I was like, I still hate you. You're trying to grow on me, but I can't do it because of the way you just respected Joel. Yeah. I just can't. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, I, did you end up liking the squad of people? So like when I mean the squad, like, like Abby's mm-hmm. little squad, like Owen, Manny, like Owen, Mel, mm-hmm. I enjoyed Owen and Danny, not really Mel. I know, I know, I'm, I know that's lame, but like when mm. Mel was complaining about the whole thing, I was like, ugh. No, I didn't. I didn't care for Mel. I do feel bad for her that she was pregnant, which was very rough. And got straight up murdered. Yeah, and then like, like Ellie didn't even realize until after. Mm-hmm. Um. Which, by the way, that that reveal. Like I was, dude, I was, was I was telling you, like this game is like, and it's crazy because I didn't notice it until after. Yeah, no, I you said you didn't notice until completely after the flashback, right? So you didn't notice yeah. her opening up the jacket and being like, oh, my God. No, yeah, I think I was too, like, I zoned in on, like, oh, wow, she just killed Owen and Mel, mm-hmm. and she was just, like, freaking out because, you know, at, it, I thought she was saying no, no, because now she does not, she's not going to be able she to can't figure talk. out where... Well, now, yeah, now she can't talk to figure out where Abby is. That's why I was like, oh, damn. By the so way, I just the second. whole reason she went there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and then and then I didn't realize until after that scene you played with Abby, they show Mel pregnant. I'm like, oh, my God. And it Whoops. made me just think about it. And, oh, dude, it was it was crazy. But um, Owen, I was fine with. I didn't, I mean... I understand that you know he was with Abby at one point, and then he got together with Mel and stuff like that. But like, dude, you need to get your shit. And you need to get your priorities. <laughs> kid coming. That was very strange. I couldn't. Get... I, so they had the night in the aquarium. Yes. Like, was his plan to take her to Santa Barbara with his? No, exactly. I That's guess exactly what he wanted to do. He still wanted to have girlfriend both. that was still pre- is like like what is what was no, the plan exactly there, he buddy? He wanted both of them, man. It, it, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, and like, you know, 
I respect a, a little, you know, player respects the game, but I think you're bitten off a little more than you could chew, buddy. No. Don't know if you can juggle these two relationships when they're literally living with you, but hey, I no, guess you can I try. Just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And, um, yeah, Mel, I just, it, it was just hard to even see her do all this pregnant, which is crazy. I can't, Danny, believe, they, I like, I can't believe anyone let her leave. I was like, why are we yeah. so chill with her, like, doing anything? Yeah, exactly. It's just crazy. Honestly, the, my one of my favorite people was the dog. Alice. Alice Who could forget? Dog. Who freaking get Alice? Such a good girl. Yes. Oh, my Which, God. Which, by the way, I got upset after the fact. Because originally, it was just some stupid dog that tried to murder my face. Exactly. And, and then you figure out that it was Alice, and you play fetch with her. I played fetch so many times, and I gave her so many good pets. Just, oh, my just, God. Just dude. as a little then, apology. <laughs> And then when you go back as Abby and you see him, uh, you see Alice on the floor. I'm like, oh, my God, I did that. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God, I'm a murderer. Yeah, even knowing what I was walking into, the reveals to just watch Abby's face and being like, oh, my God, she's going to be so sad. And I felt bad, yeah. which was incredible for the story in the game. Oh, for sure, dude. Like, it's crazy how they turned it around. Like, you wanting, like, when the beginning, you hate this character with a passion. And then they wind up giving you a second opinion on her and actually feeling for her side that's what's that's what's incredible about this as a game right i don't feel like this, yeah. this could be anything other than it like, in a game like no game has really do that much like where they like the the per anti i'm assuming it's antagonist yeah right? antagonist for an enemy right protagonist. yeah like yeah so antagonist that you feel for them usually you just want to be like okay i'm against you so like i'm always not gonna like you and what's funny is in your mind, right after we after we have the talk with Abby and, and we play through her days, who's the antagonist after that for you? As 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 the oh. player, is there is there an antagonist for you? Is it Ellie? Like it, it's all perspective now and point of view. Like who's who's really the bad quote unquote bad person, right? You can argue all these people are bad people. But. I feel like in the I feel like in the end. <sighs> oh, you're about to like say I it. Say I it. feel like I, I feel like I still I feel like I still want to say Abby. I, 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 at the very end, I think it's pretty unequivocally that Ellie is a bad, bad, bad person. But to to be fair, I don't know. I feel like Abby, Abby kept f looking for Joel. I, even 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 years later, you know, I move. I like okay. I understand. It sucks. It really sucks, but move on. <laughs> You're like, I get it. It sucks. It sucks. Ellie, it's fine. You can do it however long you want. But but Abby, she's the one that to needs to fair, get over it. To be fair, Ellie did the same thing. Yeah, there there you go. That, that That's what I wanted you to pick up but, on. I was like, oh, okay, she's doing the see, same thing. But to be fair, though, Ellie didn't murder him with a golf club in front of her face. <laughs> that, I didn't take a word out of a portion. You're, you're like, there should be a respect factor here, all right? Like, <laughs> it, like if, if they would have killed him, kind of, like, not as crazy in front of her, I feel like that it, I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. no, I, I, get, I get both perspectives. And you know what's crazy is how, again, I want to go back to the the the, the complete, like negative versions of each other but also being the same where mm. abby essentially forfeits her life um to becoming just a killing machine and you can see yeah. that with the with you know i don't want to i'm not saying she doesn't look normal um because there are she's women that look huge. She, <laughs> there are women that look like that i'm not saying she's not normal but the actual if when you look at the park version of abby and then you look at present day Abby. There is clearly that girl, a devotion that went that into ma to, to making her body a physical murder machine. Like nothing else matters. Like I don't think I can ever be that jacked. Like you saw in her flashback with Owen too, where it's like she can't take a day off, not even go into the yeah. aquarium with her boyfriend. She yeah. wants to train constantly, every day train, train to slowly yeah. get the power to go murder Joel. Like that's just such. Mm. Uh, and, and then we see, and we see her throw away her relationship with Owen, right? Because he eventually yep. she doesn't spend time with him, I assume. And Owen then finds Mel and goes with Mel. And then yep. we see the exact same scenario with Ellie twice, by the way throws all of her her life away twice first time with with the she could have just stayed in jackson of course and yeah. then and then eventually getting to the farm chapter and seeing her look around and being like 
yeah, I can't do this. I, I can't it's, I can't live like this. I have was, to go kill him. So hard. And she throws it away again. And this, for nothing. 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 But to Not, be, I, like, it's hard because at the very that like when well, it goes back to the question, who was the real antagonist? Mm-hmm. At the very end, Ellie could have killed her. That's true. But she chose not to. Why do you think so? I feel like out of, I feel like out of respect for Dole. I feel like we can see the full meaning of why she chose not to with the flashback scene. Yes. With very emotional, like, I choked it's, up a little. Um, I think it's the final I think flashback. It's, where, I think it's choosing her to forgive. Yeah. So when she's talking to Joel, goes. You know, I, I can't forgive you for for taking my choice away and making my life mean something. Yeah. But I can try. Yeah, and, I, would and like, that, I would like to try. I would like to try. And that's her trying, I think. Yeah. I think and her I, yeah. trying is, is stopping from straight up murdering her <laughs> by just slowly she drowning her. She, she, she would have won- She would have killed her. Oh, no. She was about to die. For 100%. Yeah. About, she was about to clock out. No, now, no, yeah, I will sure. say, I did expect, I was literally grinding my teeth because I was so anxious at, during the scene. Because if I you if you remember, terrible. again, since you guys were playing the game, I'm sure you guys remember, the very end is her drowning it, right? Mm-hmm. And if you remember, the knife is hit away from Ellie's hand, and mm-hmm. it's into the water. I thought Lev was straight up about to grab that and slice Ellie's throat while we stared at her face. And I was I wasn't ready for that emotionally. <laughs> no, I was really I was really honestly I wasn't thinking of the knife. I was thinking of that Leo was gonna grab one of the guns from the from Ellie's bag, and be like, mm. and, or and be like, uh, like enough or something or shoot her or something. Because Lev was the one who stopped Abby from killing Dina in the before like because when they were I fighting, I thought we'd get a similar scene. I thought we would get a similar scene to be like uh, you know like she would shoot in the air and be like enough. Mm-hmm. whatever it's just like like we we know what she i know what she did but enough or whatever and like or something but like it's it's but if instead ellie uh resisted interesting and i honestly i i'm kind of proud of her for doing that mm-hmm. i i res i respect it too because it's it is a all right i need to let this go yeah, and it's crazy because Abby at first too, she was like, she just, she just wanted to survive and leave, and she's like, I'm not fighting you, I'm not doing this right now. God, I, I you... could, I couldn't even tell it was Abby at first. Dude, yeah, it took me a second, it, and she I lost realized some weight, you can tell too. Oh, yes, she did. Yeah. She lost a lot of weight because it's been a couple months, and yeah. she, her hair was cut off. Yeah, when we interrogated that guy, and he's like, we picked her up a few months ago. I was like, oh Jesus, she is yeah. gonna be rough. And I didn't expect that though. She was, no, she was yeah. pretty. She was. She, they Strung were messing up her up. Yeah, that was messed up. These yeah, pillows. Those people were nuts, by the way. I don't know what their thing was. Uh, I guess just slave labor, but that was. No. They, they, they were weird. Now I have a question for you. Yes. Do you do you think her going through the torture, uh, for Abby? Do you think she's do you think uh, she's had enough? Like you know, like you know, uh, like. Um, she's been through enough to where like this would be like to, um, like as a what is it called? Like she went through enough of a traumatic experience that she wants to m- remove herself from these type of situations. Well, like like you know, for her murdering, like for her murdering Joel, yeah, like she deserved a uh, like like something bad. Like, do you think the the uh, death or do you think this was enough to where it's like okay this i think this is i think this was enough and i think i think um yeah i keep i I keep missing the word uh like kind of like a a, like a discipline or something like this Mm. was this 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 was was like enough of of yeah this this was enough of this is the last straw kind of thing yeah this is the last straw i think this was enough for you to because you killed joel i you know you've been tortured and all that stuff i think Mm. this like i think you've had i think you've had enough I, I don't th- I don't think so. I I don't think she even really cared because she was I mean definitely willing to beat her to death while yeah. she was like ha- like what a third of her regular strength probably. Yeah. Um But but uh, but I do see your point though of being like this 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 is like just look at her like you're like I I don't think it's yeah. enough enough's enough. Now I I want to bring up the symbolism that I loved with the song and what I mean by the song is um yeah. The starter song they play that uh um you know if I were to lose you 
Yeah, it's I called. Um, use my I think it's called uh, Father Day. Something like that. I forgot what it's called. I have to look it up. Yeah, if you actually, if you can, I didn't know. I I assumed I didn't even think it was a real song. No, honestly. it's a it's but, a real song. Yeah, can you can you see if you can find that for me real quick, please? Yeah, um, I've been listening to the soundtrack. But uh, with that song, it means so much in the context of this game, right? If I were to it's lose future you, days, future days. All right, cool. I'll yes. have to write that down. I want to listen to that later. But um, that means so much in the context of this game, right? Mm. If I were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself, right? If yep. Joel were to lose Ellie, yep. he would surely lose it. He lost himself in that crazy, whatever you'd want to call it, like massacre that happened at the hospital, right? Yeah. You can definitely tell he lost something there, right? No, and, for sure. And then he was thinking, you know, what happened? That, you know, if I would let her die, I mean, yeah. if I like, lose I you, would, I lose yeah. myself. He ended up losing her anyways, uh, from the damage he caused. Uh, yeah, pretty with much. Her. But uh, with the situation with Ellie, the same thing happened. She lost. She she lost Joel. Lost herself. Right. Yeah. L- lost herself through a action of the death, but also the actions of she can't live. She barely lives mm-hmm. anymore. Right. She said it, what moved me the most was when she was talking with Dina, but, which we haven't brought up Dina enough. This relationship mm. is a plus Naughty Dog. Like oh, I loved every sure. single dialogue between those yes. two. The Oh God, I have to. Uh, uh, there's so many things I can bring up, but, but sticking with this, her uh, when Ellie looks, uh, when Dina's like, "Why can't you just like stay here with us and live and live here?" She's like, "I I don't eat and I don't I, I don't sleep." sleep. Yeah. Like, and I was like, "Oh, that hurts!" Like, she's not living; she's she's yeah. having trouble even surviving to the basic means, and she must go do this so she can. And that was heartbreaking to watch. Yeah, it, it was because, I mean, even like you can see that even Dina has gone through some stuff because, I mean, she, the father of a child was shot in the face. In the face. And, like, and she almost died herself. I yeah. mean, she and you can see the scar of the oh, arrow God. on her shoulder. Oh, can like, you? I missed that. Yeah, uh, under her tank top, there's kind of like a, not a lightning bolt, but there's like a zigzag yeah. uh, scar under, or like around the shoulder area. Mm, okay. Um... But yeah, no, I mean, she's going through stuff, but I don't know if her, like, I mean, she's lost people. I'm not saying that, you know, that it's not like it's, you know, I, that, it, that it, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it, yeah. but I feel like Ellie's gone through worse. Mm-hmm. So like, that's why it's affecting her more because I mean, like in the first game, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a quote from Ellie saying everybody that she's known and cared about has died. Yeah, it's true. Um, so her losing the, 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 like the very last, not the last person that, that, you know, that loves her, yeah. that she cared about, but you know, one of the main peoples that's made her, you know, that kept her alive died that just like, I think it just broke her. Mm. And I don't think like, cause around that time, you know, like you said, um, her, their connection hasn't been fully up to par because after the whole thing, she found out about what he did. Mm hmm. Once he dies, I feel like her it, it, she's realizing that she loved him so much that she she lost time with him and she and she and now that she can't get back like so there's a feels, massive regret. Yes, she feels so much regret about that last day because I think there's even a thing a scene where she says something about the last conversation with Joel. I think she was talking to Jesse or something or I think so Jesse too. Said, and to where the last conversation like it was like it's pretty much sucked yeah but it was like it was hard man like you can see the regret in her eyes Mm -hmm. and and it's crazy because the animation in this game i mean that's something that's a whole other like the animation is insane showing showing these like these emotions and like you can see into ali's eyes Mm -hmm. and you can see the regret Mm -hmm. yeah the facial animations especially like, the, like that, 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 yeah, those mocaps, uh, like the outstanding. Troy, uh, I believe, Troy Baker, uh, uh, Ashley Johnson, and Laura Bailey. The, mm-hmm. the, and of course, there are extras and things who also do motion capture. But no, yeah. the, the, the primary people in the game are it's it's astounding. Um, of oh, course, for sure. of course, Troy Baker didn't do uh, you know a whole lot because he was you know Joe wasn't in the game that much. Yeah, but uh, but my God. No, it, it it's crazy. impeccable like when you hit someone like you see their facial reaction when when they get like stabbed or punched or yeah. or w- when you're like in a fist fight with them it's in, mm-hmm. it's insane um uh aha uh-huh. i mean like 
the like that song are you kidding me oh yeah take on me like that's probably one of my favorite yeah. scenes in video games now mm-hmm. just no, how yeah, that, that song i just loved and um it was actually crazy because it was used in um the show the magicians it was used mm-hmm. in a campfire because one of the main people had died okay um and they used that song and it was really touching it was the acoustic version so when she used that song there as the acoustic version i'm like oh it's bringing it's you know there's so much emotion to yeah. this song you can tell it when she plays it yeah and she even said i mean like oh you know this is the song that i played at the party at the bonfire yep yeah the bonfire the one. Oh, it was so yeah. cool yeah oh god that that the guitar parts were so cool that was so fucking cool. yeah and there's a playable guitar in the game which is so wild yeah you just play a guitar which is cool were you able to do you know guitar in real life i would say a I good did, bit I was, were you yeah, able I was to, to it was, yeah i was trying to it was a little hard because i had to keep like i had to use the touchpad per string so it was kind of a little hard mm-hmm. and uh you had to use the analog stick to or the the bumpers to switch to chords and mm-hmm. different different chords so it was it was fun though it, i really was enjoying it. i was playing it for a good little while mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just a fun fact for the game i don't know if you knew this alex but you can actually crack the save audibly which is pretty crazy um so you don't necessarily need the thing Oh, you don't need the codes? No, you don't need... Uh, so, I've heard mixed results on that. Um, right. I don't think you need the codes to, to open it. I think you can just listen to it audibly. But, of course, you have to go through 99 numbers oh, that would take three times. So, you'd have to go over, like, 300 numbers. But, yeah, mm-hmm. no, I don't think you technically need it. Uh, because if, if you ever listen to when you're doing the code, when mm-hmm. you get to it, it makes a slightly different noise to everything else it's more of a dull noise rather than a tick noise it's more of a like a mm. like a you know almost like an opening of a lock uh, yeah and it, it i thought that was a cool detail no for sure for sure uh, i would never do it though <laughs> i thought about uh, like it, should i try that i was like no I, i'm not doing that no, no, no. um oh, there's so much to bring up uh what did you uh, uh right now what would you prefer to play as the first three days as ellie or first three days as abby um for sure ellie mm, i think, I, sure, think so. ellie. I think so too so we've talked a lot about the narrative of course because it's such a he- mm. heavy narrative game w- gameplay what, what did you think of the full-on gameplay throughout the game oh the gameplay was just great i mean it was so smooth like me being able to like like go into cover like a lot of games like you would have to like press a button like a or something to go into cover Right. Like instead, you would just walk up to it, like crouching or without crouching, it, and it would just automatically just make it put you in cover. And I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. it's it's like it knows, like it's like so smooth. Mm-hmm. Like it, even though, like let's say when you're aiming at somebody, if somebody shoots you, you fall back. Yeah, that you was start, cool. You can, and you can you can kind of like aim as you're on the floor. It's like it's so like realistic. Be like it's and it's like the proning, like being able to craft as you're prone is pretty fun. Yeah, that was cool too like all that stuff is super cool like the crafting i I enjoyed the crafting stuff yeah i liked the gunplay as well i do feel like everything has been slightly enhanced from last of us one of course oh for sure um uh i did um uh, i did well up when we were going through joel's house and we found uh the watch and his gun and I, i i don't know why but for some reason when i saw the gun i was like oh um it's been through so much at his grave i actually I actually stood right, I, like I went to it, I stood right in front of it, and I actually gave it like a moment of silence. No, oh, yeah, respect. Uh, yeah, respect, man. Mm-hmm. I had, I had to, because I was like, I just sat there and I looked at it, and I was like, it's crazy, because like I try to look at all the other graves, like I'm like, I don't see any, like the names are kind of like not like you know focused, textured on. or something. Yeah. Yeah. So only to Joel, and I was like, I, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna sit here and look at it real quick and mm-hmm. i honestly wanted to see if dina would have said something but i don't i didn't stay there for too long so she didn't really say anything mm-hmm. i was wondering if they would be like all right come on now or that she would yeah. have said something yeah but um yeah i stood there and i gave it like a moment of silence and then i went through every single room of joel's house and looked at everything mm. yeah like, I, did. I did too i took my time yeah for sure i love the um you saw the pamphlet from the museum before we even museum. played that section. That was so cool. Oh, yeah, dude. Because I, I was trying to figure out. I was like, what is this from? And I was I'm like, like oh, did we go to a museum cool. in the first game? That's what I thought. I was like, did we? I don't remember, but maybe we yeah. did. And then we get to it in this game. I was like, oh, that was so cool. What, uh, yeah. The flashback scenes, by the way. It was like a little dose of Last of Us Part 1. Oh, for sure, I dude. Love I, that. I, I enjoyed it. Yep. 
It was like Same. a little little dose of like, hey, you know, it's. <clears throat> what like why don't we kind of pretend like it's the first game, right? Yeah, that was kind of cool. I, I liked that. Um, uh, anything else you'd like to bring up gameplay wise? Um. I mean, I just the muse yeah, the museum was so fun. Like I had, I actually when I went to the museum, I looked at all everything, like all the items, and looked at all like I was like I was at the museum because I wanted it, to know all about the stuff and the 100%, space stuff. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Like the, I did the, with, the Jurassic Park reference. I knew you enjoyed that. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there was a movie about it. Second, yeah, it's crazy. Second wasn't wasn't as good though. <laughs> I love yeah, that. It's, it's crazy because he didn't say the name of it. No, he they can't. Say it. Yeah, 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 they can't. I wish they. I wish it was that open, but they can't say it. Yeah, but that was so cool. I loved. I loved that part. Oh, for sure. Um, I'm trying to think gameplay wise. I loved the stealth elements. I stealth so much in this game. Um, oh, dude. I did a lot of the I would stealth crouch feels. every time I walk into a building. I'll crouch and hold R one the whole time. I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, is yeah. anybody here? Where are, like, they right. Where are they at? Yep. Where are they at? Um, so specifically what what was the level it, was it it was should have been day two um okay. day two as ellie or as abby abby sorry i, I forget i have to clarify um no, but, you're fine. but with, with abby and when you go into the hospital the hospital scene oh yeah yes yeah. dude when you go underneath and that abomination comes out oh my god i don't know what i was expecting but I wasn't expecting a, like a Resident Evil style boss. Like I, I mm. wasn't expecting this. I don't even know what you would call that, but like this giant monster, basically. It. I mean, they were saying. Um, they were saying that it was the ground zero of of the first. Like that's where the first patient was. Uh -huh. for the, I, I think that they said for that area i'm not i don't think they said for the whole pandemic right but i think they said for that area that was ground zero uh -huh. so that was that's like 20 plus years of just infection down there like it was crazy looking uh and i <laughs> i what was crazy is when i was fighting that thing and it mm. turns into a second one that was oh yeah like immensely terrifying yeah as soon as it broke off, I was like, oh, God, okay, where is it? Because I need to kill this thing off before it kills me as I'm trying to kill the big one. Oh, for sure. And I didn't even – I was like, where'd it go? Because I was shooting this thing. I was like, where'd the other one go? And then um, yeah. it, I jumped in my seat when you're going through oh, the vent, yeah. and it was oh, hiding sure. it. Oh, my God. I. I was genuinely terrified. <laughs> it scared me no, so much. No, for sure, dude. I did the same thing because I wasn't expl I wasn't expecting that. And oh, then I God. like I jumped to like at the farm where she had the PTSD moment with Joe's face. Uh, I I jumped because I was like, oh crap. Yeah, and no, then, it's just seeing his face out of nowhere. That was yeah, like it just random, dude. Like that's like that's that's some PTSD right there. Yeah, God, my God, just that face staring back at you, just, just terrifying. Oh God, mm -hmm. anything lasting that you want to bring up from the game, Alex? There's oh, dude, there's so, so much. much again the the relationship with the I I don't think we touched on enough the relationship with Dina and Ellie is amazing it's all it's so cool I I I'm not gonna lie they're hilarious too I I really wished that Tommy would have taken Joel's place Ooh I don't um I like Tommy but I don't think the he only, can hold the game I don't I don't know no, if the I, the the only reason is because he ended up becoming an asshole at the end and I was like I just didn't like him yeah yeah i don't think you're meant to like him um yeah. especially with his comments uh yeah because it, it for me it was definitely like oh my god dude you're really backseat like murdering yeah. here like if you can't do it like don't make don't be mad that someone else won't do it like that was kind of weird i thought i thought that was very strange yeah no for sure like and it's i actually enjoyed dina's reaction she was like okay they went outside and she's like okay i'll be right back and she's like she walks outside she's like what the fuck was that and she's like, don't you ever come to my house and do that. And I was like, oh, I loved her. Right, for so sure. It was so that she did that. Yeah. Um, um, what was I going to say? Dude, there's just, there's just so much in this game. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Live in Abbey is awesome, too. No, I actually enjoyed Le Lives in Abbey's, uh, like, dynamic. Um. I do love. I did like that Haven scene, which was crazy. Uh huh. 
the the running through the, through the fires with the horse and stuff like that like that was and then fighting the joker guy like oh god yeah the dude with the messed up face yes are you kidding me with that dude face that was terrifying oh I, I thought i killed him but he just kept coming man <laughs> you end up beating the mess out of that guy oh for sure yeah it's just yeah because i dude i should i'm not gonna lie i was waiting for it too guys because as soon as her bag gets stuck it could i was uh because i was waiting i'm not check 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 check, check, check. but i was ready to go back to ellie right and i like when i saw her she lost her bag and uh it was that mission looked like it was almost done i was like oh here it comes we're gonna get ready to that scene and i was like um the time where you see you see uh like later on lev finds the map that ellie dropped uh-huh. i'm like so that's how she found him yeah yeah, yeah I so just thought it was crazy i remember looking back on that so the first time i saw the scene i was like what Oh, give me a sec, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So the there. the first the first time I saw that scene, mm-hmm. um, with the, uh, when they looked at the map and we're and we're mm-hmm. looking at it fall, I was like, why are we staring at this map? Mm-hmm. I didn't think they <laughs> they they drew where they were. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. when i saw what happened i was like you guys put where you were why'd you do that <laughs> yeah, pretty, I'm like, that's I, a bad I mean, idea wouldn't you remember i mean you could have put like where you've gone but why would you put where you you are you know where you are yeah i was like you guys know where the theater is maybe they needed a reference point or something like, but like, that was strange to take back yeah but i was like why did they point that out i don't know I, I don't know i i because that was pretty strange but it, it was yeah. whatever um uh, uh there's something i want to bring up i already blanked on it um uh what's uh, what, anything else left on uh just the game in general um it's just it, it's still like it's uh it's still very check check check, 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 check last check. night with almost 24 check 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 check, 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 check. I, I, it's, it's still tender. Right. So I'm like, it's, I'm like, it's just, it, dude, it's a, just an emotional roller coaster. Mm-hmm. The roller coaster is the only way to really describe this. It's cliche as hell, but, but my God, like, it's just, I'm not expecting half the things that are happening and it's no, awesome. for sure. It's um, so good. And it's crazy because at where the story is right now, like how the game is, uh-huh. would you, would you change, would you change anything? Like, are you are you happy with the game as it is? Hmm. Would I change anything? And the reason I'm asking is because I actually found an article, uh-huh. which I think I'll bring up afterwards. After okay. This. Okay. Um. Huh. Would I change anything? Yeah. Like, are you ha- are you happy with how the storyline played off? Oh, okay. So specifically the story. So like how yeah, the story. How, yes, because I feel like it's realistic. Maybe I don't know. I've been yeah. I've been hearing things from other people that they don't necessarily think these characters mm-hmm. in these situations would make this. Um yeah. but I feel like everything happened pretty believable yeah. to me. I, I, nothing happened same. where I was like, "Oh, that was silly." Uh, maybe the theater thing on the map. That's that's but no, yeah. at the end of the day like I would probably write where my HQ was too, because I'm an idiot. So. Yeah, I mean the storyline of like how, what happened, like of Joel actually getting killed, Ellie wanting to go on revenge, I mean, you know, ev- things like that. I feel like everything that would I I feel like that right. Donnie Dog was trying to show is like you know, not every game is gonna be a happy go cheery game, and like this is like this is fucked up, and this is how this world is. Yeah, I, and I'm. And I'm fine with that. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I feel I like I'm, uh, yeah, I don't want anything changed. I feel like because this is such special. We don't get games like this, right? They're, they're, first yeah. off, we don't get the seamless transition from from actual gameplay to cinematics, right? Mm. Like like there are some times where it looks like like it looks the same and it's amazing. And half mm. the game it looks like art, uh, literally art. Like I mean, like someone drew like an art piece and put it up on the sky. It was pretty awesome. The farms, especially when you're looking out uh, out at the landscape, yeah. Um, um and also like uh did you pick up on the light theme not to detract from what you're saying we can bring it up right after this what is it um uh, we'll bring up what you're talking about in a sec but real quick before i forget do you did you pick up on the light that they kept bringing up 
What do you mean the light that so they're bringing? So up? there seems like to be a theme on lit light, literal light, like going towards light as a more of a like a good nuturing thing. Oh, um, I got gotcha. you. Uh, Owen brings it up with like, uh, like what happened to the WLF? Like they remember they used to be good, and and his thing was maybe they stopped searching for the light. Um, yeah. Ellie being a moth, something born in darkness that searches for light, mm-hmm. um, and everything in the game essentially is dark right Mm -hmm. the the longer in seattle you spend the darker it comes right and then in the farm everything is just a glow everything is lit so bright and then when you go to the ptsd that's when the darkness comes that's when it gets dark in the farm and and when you go into the bar and then to get even crazier is when you're in santa monica or sorry santa barbara and when you start in santa barbara the, it starts heavily in light and the closer you get to abby the darker it becomes we literally get engulfed in fog and darkness and you can't see your way yeah. forward mm-hmm. and i just thought that was such a cool no yeah relative it's like a... thing to, to keep bringing up like the light is what you should be going for not the dark yeah, in this like exactly. awful time yeah that's what i was gonna say yeah they they're it seems like they were trying to show to where like you know you know traumatic experiences you know you know it's going to be a dark place and you know in people's hearts and stuff mm-hmm. like that but you you can't um live in it you have to like um like get past move past it, it. And, and move past it and like, go, go towards, towards the light the, yeah. Toward, yeah now you brought up the game's reception yeah and i wanted to talk about that too i actually have it down in my notes okay there seems to be a very mixed reaction between all of yes this. Um, um obviously ours is more positive than most people but but yeah. but it, it for us it's it's mainly positive but, yeah, but reason, what did what did you want to bring up on that arc i'm very curious um the reason being is because i wanted to see what your point was because i've heard a lot of people are mixed about this storyline right and there's actually fans start petition for a remake of the last of us part two storyline okay that's pretty silly that sounds like trolling um <laughs> yeah. just off the top of my head yeah. um it, are have you I, I've, i'd be very curious on what people didn't like about this yeah i figured I, I didn't it's just like i'm assuming it's just i don't know if i if it had to do like with the whole metacritic thing but like yeah i don't know if it's because people are so upset with I it i think it's just one of those things that it's cool to not like the cool thing right it, mm. it, it, I, that's how i read it like this is the cool this is the thing everything likes so it's cool to mm. not like it we're hipster or whatever i i don't know really honestly i i have no idea why it's cool to not like not, not like the game but i enjoyed it and mm. people can not like the game as much as they want i don't i don't care apparently um, yeah there was a petition that actually it, it went live on change.org yeah the, and there's thousands who want a remake of the newly released title relax everyone yeah <laughs> but, but I mean, again yeah, i think those are mostly yeah. trolled I, I don't really think i don't really think anyone actually cares enough to to, to do that but may, maybe they do i i don't see i would love to talk to someone who didn't like the game i just curious on what was the aspect i did hear some people didn't like the conclusions the characters uh do yeah. like they didn't like the actual motives and didn't believe the characters would actually do some of these things um yeah, i honestly like... don't know what that like i don't know what was out of anyone's character but you know yeah i'd like to hear those opinions yeah yeah the article it says well like what the petition uh takes like what like what it's for Mm -hmm. yeah like what people Uh, are upset about and what and stuff like that yeah just just yeah i i I don't know if we need to give that any more breath than actually i don't think that's that no one's literally considering that so i don't think it's worth yeah i'm 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 completely fine how the game turned out i it was an amazing game i loved this this is definitely game of the year i can't imagine something being better than this and if it is this is one of the best years in gaming uh but this Mm -hmm. is potentially probably going to be one of my favorite games of all time so i had so much fun i've been doing nothing but thinking about this game um, and since we are closing down the talk, Alex, I want to bring up something specific. And and a very very literally, where do we go from here? And what I mean by that is, what what is what is the ending to you? How did you interpret it? Um, you, uh, the ending meaning like, are you talking about like when she returns to the farm? Yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, know, very sad that she lost her fingers and she cannot play the guitar. Oh my gosh, which yeah, is no, very sad. Like, so... Which her, li- she literally lost herself in losing her fingers. And it's crazy because they actually emphasize on that. Yes. 
uh, when the farm scene comes up back up, you can see her her left hand, her ring finger, and her pinky are both gone. Yep. Meaning she won't be able to play guitar anymore. No. As from I I already knew that part, but like she walks slowly towards the you know towards the farm. I was hoping you know Dina was still gonna be there waiting for her, but when she opens the door, everything was empty. Yep. Like she's been gone for a while, and it's like. She she just didn't even bother waiting. Mm-hmm. And she was like, you know, she made her choice on going after Abby. Mm-hmm. Um, but and I looked through every room first, to be honest. Then downstairs, I did to too. See her, and I went through every room, empty, empty, nothing. I was hoping maybe one of the rooms, at, like Dina, would be there, or somebody. well, I wasn't expecting anyone. I was expecting a note. Um, any no- any note? I was I was expecting the like some sort of like like joel ghost in a way <laughs> just someone to talk to yeah in a way yeah like uh-huh. toward like once she's going upstairs and that room was closed mm-hmm. i was kind of hoping that when she opens that door joel was sitting there mm. with the, with the guitar playing like she I- would like as you walk up the stairs you hear the guitar and you open the door and it's joel i'm definitely glad we didn't do that because i like the very serious nature of the game yeah, yeah. i thought that'd be a little too gamey for me i prefer yeah. the the uh no, like what, what I would enjoyed, you call it I enjoyed, um, the flashbacks the, yeah i i enjoyed where, check, check check i thought that's what they were gonna do but i enjoyed where they went right um but when you walk in the room and you see the the record of their like song that they love dancing to yeah and then that was awesome and then, and then joel's guitar is sitting there yeah and then she picks it up tries to play um and she can't which is yeah she tried so playing sad. future days uh yep. she just played the first verse of it and then she just couldn't mm-hmm. and she stopped. she looked at and yeah i just saw her look out the window and she was like okay i, I like from my point i feel like she just said okay i think it's time mm-hmm. she puts to... the guitar down on the window uh-huh and then she just walks away which is how game. we which is how we start the first game through a window we end yes. it through a window yep symbolism um, all over the place yeah oh for sure like so do you think she's too, going back to find dina or what, what I, you... th- and see that's the thing i don't i don't know and i don't think she is mm. I, I when she's walking when she walked away uh you can see her you know just leaving um also the neck the neck fret of joel's guitar had the moth symbol yep i'm wondering because it could be interpreted two ways either that was joel's guitar and she took the tattoo to incorporate you know joel in it or she had the tattoo tattoo first and joel makes guitars and he made that guitar you know that's pretty mm-hmm. much based on ellie i would assume the guitar was made the first gu- and she saw yeah. the design and liked it i don't know maybe that's said somewhere in the game yeah. I don't know what technically came first, but I, but there is symbolism there. Maybe that is her leaving Joel behind. Maybe because that's, that's a gift from I, Joel. I, yeah, and see, I think that was yeah. I think it's just her moving moving on mm-hmm. from Joel, and I think her leaving everything, even the guitar behind, meaning she's leaving all that behind. And yeah. I don't think she's going back to Jackson. I think she's just moving on. Mm. She's like, I mean, obviously, she gave up her decision with Dina. So, the first time. Uh, the first, yeah. So. I don't think she would go back. I think she's mm. just moving on and it's just, you know, just just living. Mm. I interpreted it as her finally saying goodbye to what happened and going to make a future, right? Because she was so yeah. stuck in the past. I see her leaving all of that behind because that's literal, her literal past is being left. Like her, all her previous things, her posters, her pictures, yeah. her her drawings, her, her her guitar she was given by Joel, everything is being left mm. so she can look f- towards herself for the future. And I, yeah. I'm assumingly with JJ and, and Dina is how and I see, interpret it. And see, and if, I, if she would have done that, then she would have kept their favorite record from the from her and Dina and the JJ pictures, but she didn't, she didn't keep anything. Interesting. Like, I, do, I, 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 don't, I don't think you're crazy. I think I think most of my thinking is just honestly like just hoping for for no, a nice echo, but I, I know, yours is probably correct. I think she's just moving on and like just 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 she she could do that thing where uh, what do they call it? like uh, hitchhikers or not hitchhiker but like they just walk they just, just like they, a nomad kind of no, yeah like a nomad she just lives and just walks until she finds her next place in life. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Maybe she will find somebody that she has to take care of and she becomes the Joel figure. Mm-hmm. You think that's incredibly um, sad. Huh? I said that's incredibly sad. Yeah. Um, I Honestly, I really thought that when she went to Joel's house and threw his shirt, I thought she was going to take his shirt somewhere. That'd be cool. And then I said the same thing, and then I was like, eh, actually, she's probably way too small. <laughs> so <laughs> so it probably like w- like well, would not fit correctly. The very last time, like when you see she's leaving right before Dina tried to stop her, that gray shirt, I thought that was that same shirt. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, and I, I get you, but probably too big. I thought the same yeah. thing, and I was like, it probably doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, to, to wind down from all of this, you gonna get that platinum? Oh, dude! It's, it's <laughs> now I don't know how fast I'm gonna get it, but I will definitely. You get will it. eventually get the platinum. No, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. I will get the platinum. I want to get the platinum for this game. Mm-hmm. Um, this game is very close to my heart. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I haven't been this emotional with a game and, like, kind of... I'm not saying, like, I, I've gone through this, but, like, it, it yeah. really... Like, I it's I can I can feel for these characters yeah. a lot closer. And it's I can feel a lot more closer than I did when I played the first game mm-hmm. because I have, a, I have a daughter now. Yeah, you actually have a daughter, so you can actually relate to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Intriguing. Intriguing. I, um... I love this game. I think it's pretty obvious from the spoiler cast that we very much mm-hmm. enjoyed this game. Um, I'm, oh, for sure. I'm hoping. Um, I, what do you think? DLC possible? I, I think honestly, it is. I think it's too easy not to. But what do you I, think? No, it, it'd be too, it, like they, you know. I'm sure they would, they would get more more people back in with it. But I don't think I don't think there's gonna be anything else with it. I think mm-hmm. honestly, I think I would be okay with them just leaving it just like this. And our I would be too. To, or, I, to be clear, she goes on to next. Yeah, to be clear, I would too. I would be fine with this, and maybe in like seven, ten years, we f- we come back and we see like grown up Ellie or something. But no, but, yeah, that'd be cool. But I, if we don't, I think I'd still be okay with I'm it. I'm perfectly fine with this ending. Perfectly fine. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm fine with it, but I am glad we got it. No, Very for glad sure. We got it. Alex, any ending statements for your spoiler cast mm. on Last of Us Part Two? Go, everybody, go get that platinum. Get that platinum. Show the devs some love. Tweet at them. Do an Instagram mm. post. Anything. Just thank them for the special journey. Yeah, just I us. mean, just show the amount of dedication on like and like like the people created these stories. Like Naughty Dog, like the story team, and like they they like it was emotional for us. So imagine how emotional it was for them to even create this. Yeah, so, of, of know, course. They had right. to decide had to write it. if they had to do this, and they had to write in. So like, someone had to animate every step of the way, right? Like, it must have been hard. Mm-hmm. I did so, uh, like, really some great, uh, some great work. Oh, of course, great work from everyone at the team over at Naughty Dog. Um, real quick to bring up, um, I loved how they handled Isaac. Uh, he was oh, very, he God. was very foreboding. For I me. honestly forgot because. He, like we kept hearing that he was so like you know menacing so but, like he but he got popped so quick mm-hmm. it was cool i liked it yeah what was her name again yuri 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 yara yara thank you yara yeah she went out like a g mm-hmm. i respect that she got lit up <laughs> she also showed technically no matter how menacing you sound you can go out and like with like nothing yeah it all depends like she just yeah and it's crazy how they lit her up yeah yeah they they yeah that was that was crazy messed up to, to watch yeah um but yeah that that was that, that that was handled really well and then like you said the haven thing was really cool running through all the burning mm-hmm. things and um i i enjoyed the game every step of the way and then the closer we got to day three the more antsy i got i was like oh god i know what's about to happen oh for sure uh but yeah uh on that note thank you so much for listening to our spoiler cast of last of us part two there will be plenty more last of us talk i'm sure Maybe, oh, me and, sure. maybe me and oh, Alex wow. will need us. The, we'll keep talking about this, I'm sure, on something. Um, mm. So I'm l- definitely replaying it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm definitely doing a new game plus. Um, oh, for sure. Oh, this after I get the platinum. Or I, yeah. it'll be during the platinum, technically, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you know, you can support us over on patreon.com slash cgachievers. That keeps us employed in doing what you like. Yes, that's right. Talking into Mike's and going into your ear holes if you like us even more you can always talk to us on twitter instagram any of those things you can just add us at evm 9000 at crazy flip skater for alex at easy achievers everywhere if you just want a general discussion 
from yours truly. Thank you so much for listening. We'll catch you guys Friday for your regularly scheduled programming. Goodbye. Go Chief. Go Chief.